Hi, it's Alicia from the Pretty Brown Eyed Reader. I am coming today with my hashtag Diversathon TBR. I will link the host to the Diversathon uh, in the description box below. First off, I want to describe why diversity matters to me. As a young child, I was in a gifted program in elementary school. It was a program where um, students who tested with a higher intellect were put into a class called Gifted. My gifted teacher gave us an assignment one day of coming up with what we would like to be when we grow up. So my thing was, I want to be a writer. My gifted te teacher told me, she told me, black people can't grasp the English language. Now I was in elementary school and I think my teacher could have benefited from a little diversity in her reading because she constantly talked about how wonderful Gone with the Wind was, the book written by Margaret Mitchell. Well, if that was her only concept of how black people grasp the English language, then her reading was evidently not diverse. And if she had uh, exposed herself to Langston Hughes, wonderful poet, writer, playwright, who had a wonderful grasp of English, so much so that his poems are still being read now, his poems are being taught now. His, one of his poems, Dreams Deferred, was actually the end line of one of his poems was the title for A Raisin in the Sun that was written by Lorraine Hansberry, another author who is black and grasps the English language very well, so much so that her plays are still being performed now. However, that's a little bit tangent, but imagine how the trajectory of my life would have been different if I had had a teacher who read diversely and could encourage me to read other author, read authors who look like myself, who identify themselves as black. Hmm, who knows? But recently I had an incident, well, maybe not an incident, um, I work at a university and uh, many of our students are international, so one of my students is from China and her father came around on a visit to America and she was showing him around our department and when he came in um, I have been offended by him not taking my hand and shaking it or giving me direct eye contact but I wasn't because of reading diversely I know that other cultures around the world do not necessarily do the same things that Americans do so um, I showed the gentleman around our, my area of the department and handed him off. Well, on his departure day, he came back by my desk and he said, My daughter told me you like to read and she sees you reading quite a bit. I would like to give you a present. And he brought me this. It is a bookmark and it says that it's a Chinese opera, uh, excuse me, a Beijing opera mask bookmark. Now imagine if I had been totally offended by the man when he first, I first entered, saw him, then I would have never got to experience having something from Beijing. He also brought me some little snacks to read, to eat while I read. Okay, so let's get on with the books that I will be reading for the hashtag Diversifying. The first book is James Baldwin's Go Tell It on the Mountain. This is my book club's um, selection for the month so I will just finish it up because our book club meets on the second day of the Diversathon so I'm actually just finishing that up for the book club but James Baldwin is a revered author African American man um, who wrote about um, challenges especially during segregation another book I will be reading is this one and it's called A White Man's Pre A White Preacher's Memoir during the Montgomery bus boycott and it's by Robert Gratz and I thought that would be interesting to see um, this uh, pastor was this man was a pastor of a all-black congregation but he was white in Montgomery during the boys boycott and I thought that would be a great um, book to read during this diversathon. The next book I will be reading is The Buddha in the Attic by Julie Otsuko, Otsuko, Otsuko. This is why I need to read diversely. Julie Otsaka. Her book, When the Emperor Was Divine. And so I wanted to pick up another book by her. And this one is about Japanese uh, mail order brides who are brought to San Francisco. 
And the last book I have for, picked out for the Diversathon is The Reluctant Fundamentalist. And it's by Mas Masan Hamid. And it's about a Pakistani man who has all kinds of experiences after in the wake of September 11th. And this is my TBR for Diversathon. What are you reading? Are you participating? I hope so. Sounds like it's going to be a great week. Thanks for watching and have a great day.